We are coming to you live from Steel Town, Pennsylvania at the sold-out Three Mile Island Stadium. There's nothing quite like playing in the scenic toxic nuclear waste dump. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The New York Tyrants go up against the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me! And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> and it's first and ten. a killer it was right there and then he dropped it oh scumbag is killing me in fantasy league. second down and ten mm. a good run for five yards hey didn't move the changes Gordon did it how good can it be third down and five the ball get the first down and don't die see it's really a simple game when it comes down to it and it's first and ten and they stack the line and he gets his bell run for a yard Second down and nine. And that player just transformed into a giant. Fumble. You gotta protect the ball better than that. And that'll bring up third and one. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and eight to go. Hot, 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 two. Pick up of about three on that play. <laughs> and that'll be second down and four. Hey. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Brad Graham with a ball and didn't fall down. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! Man, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. He's 
is not going down. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. Yeah, but, but it was an interception. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Bring up second and one. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. He could go all the way. Well, back to the bench. He dropped it, you butts. Third down and ten. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have. And trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard game. Second down and six. Hot. Hot one. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? Second down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He picks up five on that play. <laughs> 
And that'll bring up third and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hot eight. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. You know, Bricks, I can't believe the defense didn't stop the run. Maybe they just wanted more shots at the QB. Now, yeah, got a point there. And it's first and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear you're drunk. I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Ah, Junior's having a flashback, man. What do we do? Down him talk, so he out it comes up. Ah, yeah, right. Second down in a lot. Oh, great pass block. That's just as good as a sack. No, it ain't. When you get a sack, you get to hit the QB in the nuts. Yeah, good point, Junior. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. for four yards. And it's first and ten. What's the advantage? What are you trying to place your third baby? He scores! You think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. That run is good for 10 yards. First and ten. And a nice pass for a ten-yard gain. It's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Second down the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. It's a zap attack. It's like when you... Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. He could go all the way. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Man, he 
is such bullshit. This game is fucking rigged. I tell you, the programmers are speeding up the defense. I'm going to write an email to that fucker. First and four. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a Dallas guy than a speed fake grip. He's running from his name. It's clear. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and seven. Much like my wedding night, there was a big explosion and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean everyone? And they'll bring up third down and seven. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Third down and and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah! The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And that's an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. I didn't want to grab the receiver like that. He could get hurt. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And that'll be their final timeout. And he's going to have to boot this one halfway to hell. It's good. Uh, okay, no, man, I can't. Come on, uh, 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Second and one. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Screw that up. No one died. Bombs don't kill mutants, Grim. Mutants kill mutants. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Not many kickers can kick it over 50 yards in these brutal conditions. Let's see if he can do what few others can. That was like a movie trailer, Grim. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip wearing a... Oh, what a brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He is fighting 
for every yard. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is at palm cream. That cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And then catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. for two. Whichever. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, 
No little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. Picks up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, look at this guy break tackle. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and one. Two. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of time is. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Either way, they're going for two. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Shitty pass to absolutely no one. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. It's so big that the last time he saw 90210 was on the bathroom scale. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands. 
Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. And the rumor is that Mitch just a great run for a touchdown. Back in 2017, they started implementing extreme alien betting. You can see how well it all worked out. And it was just trying to make America great again, Grim. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? They stumped the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. This guy's a brick shithouse. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum. And they stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. 
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, that's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Uh, have you seen my beer? And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. The Blitzburg Steelheads go down in defeat. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new game of bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other.